Let's talk about uh, transitioning from LLC to a C corporation. What are the tax implications? So when you when you actually contemplate a transition from LLC to C corporation, there are a few things you need to really pay attention to. So here is the approach I want you to pay attention to really uh, like really seriously. So there are three main tax consequences to consider. Okay. So LLCs are one of the most common business entities and their members enjoy limited liability and other benefits making them great business entities. However, LLCs can convert to C corporations to benefit their shareholders even more. Test consequences are worth considering before ending an LLC and beginning a C corporation. Because what's going to happen here is that when we talk about co conversion, we're talking about ending the LLC status and beginning the C corporation status. When you convert an LLC to a C corporation, there are requirements worth knowing too. Here is what you should consider when converting from LLC to C corporation. First of all, you need to understand that LLCs are different from C corporations, right? So LLCs, when we talk about ability to issue stocks, I want to do a quick compare and contrast so you have a clear idea what I'm talking about here. So basically, uh, LLCs cannot issue stocks. C corporations can, and they can actually issue multiple classes of stock. Basically, what about the tax entity type? Well, LLCs are passed through entities. Taxes pass through from the company to owners. For a C corporation, there are not passed through entities. So shareholders pay corporate and personal income taxes. So, so we have here a double taxation. What about the tax option for members? Members can choose in the in LLCs, members can choose to be taxed as C corporation or as corporation. For a C for a C corporation, that status is not applicable. What about the tax payment method? Well, owners file and pay taxes on the LLC's profit on their personal tax returns avoiding double taxation what about c corporation well double taxation occurs anyway with corporate taxes and shareholder taxes on dividends what about earnings retention well llc's may not have easy earnings retention due to taxation on distribution shares what about c corporation well generally they have easier that that type of corporation has easier earnings retention on dividends which are taxed when distributed by the way, boss, welcome back to the show. It's really a pleasure to have you here. Make yourself comfortable. You are going to enjoy today's conversation. Let's talk about the pro tips here. I want to give you a few pro tips. When is it a great idea to convert from an LLC to a C corporation? So when you're thinking of uh, like when to convert to your uh, LLC to a C corporation, it's really wise to focus on your company's next steps. As your LLC experiences growth, you may feel compelled to convert it to a C corporation, not just for taxes, but also for, for expansion, for funding, for all kinds of uh, business restructuring purposes. A few indicators will tell you when it's a great time to convert your LLC. It's a great idea to learn how to convert from LLC to C corporation when you are seeking to, let's say, offer common stock to help to shareholders to offer limited liability for directors, employers, officers, and shareholders. You want to lower self-employment taxes. You want to raise money from investors. So what do you need to do to convert your LLC to a C corporation? Well, you must follow several steps for an LLC to a C corporation conversion. No matter how you convert your LLC to a C corporation, you will need to do a few a few things. So we're going to put this on the screen so everybody has a clear idea what, I, what we're talking about. You need to file articles of incorporation with your state's secretary or state office. So every state has different rules. So you want to make sure that you actually uh, contact your, uh, your, uh, your, your state authorities. So after filing articles of incorporation, you need to draft bylaws for the new C corporation. You need to appoint a corporate board of directors. You need to elect officers. You need to hold an, an initial board meeting. You need to issue stock certificates. And you need to obtain a new EIN. Now, there are two things here. Number one, you probably no, you probably noticed that a C corporation is more bureaucratic. You know, there is a lot more paperwork involved than a, than an LLC. LLC has more flexibility in terms of management. That's number one. Number two, when you switch business type, the business structure, you need to actually have a, a new EIN. So on top of these requirements, additional steps vary depending on how you choose to convert your LLC to a C corporation. 
each way you can convert your LLC to a C corporation affects what you will need to complete the conversion. By the way, boss, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. We are having a conversation about transitioning from LLC to C corporation. What are the tax implications? Now, the three ways to convert your LLC to a, to a C corporation are uh, you have statutory conversion, statutory merger, and non-statutory conversion. So let's quickly dig a little deeper here. So we have a clear idea what we're speaking about in terms of not only the organizational side of things, but also the fiscal side of things. First of all, let's talk about the statutory conversion. So the first way to convert your LLC to a C corporation is by doing a statutory conversion. This option is new and not available in every state, but it is the fastest. So a statutory conversion comprises four steps, which are to prepare a conversion plan, to approve a conversion plan, to file a certificate of conversion, and to file forms with the Secretary of State. And statutory conversions, those conversions are unique because this transfer offers valuable features for LLC owners. By converting your LLC to a C corporation through a statutory conversion, the transfer of all of your LLC's assets and liabilities happens automatically. Your LLC members will automatically convert to C corporation shareholders and you won't have to do additional actions for statutory conversions, which are requirements for other conversions methods. So that's for the statutory conversion. What about the statutory merger? So a statutory merger is the second way you can convert your LLC to a C corporation. So this process comprises five steps and it may be the best the, the best option for LLC owners in states which don't offer statutory conversions. And to do a statutory merger, you will need to form a new corporation that is totally separate from your LLC, have your LLC members approve a merger of the current LLC and the new C corporation, have your LLC members exchange their membership rights for C corporation shares, file a certificate of merger and any additional required state paperwork, you need to dissolve your LLC. So similar to a statutory conversions, statutory mergers allow your LLC assets and liabilities to transfer automatically to your C corporation. So the last way to convert your LLC to C corporation is by doing a non-statutory conversion. And this option may be the most difficult for some LLCs and it may be the most uh, pricey option as well, the priciest options too. So non-statutory conversion. So to do a non-statutory conversion, you will need to form a new corporation. You need to transfer assets, liabilities, and ownership interest with separate LLC and C Corp agreements. And you need to dissolve your LLC. Let's talk about three tax consequences of converting LLC to, to a C corporation. There are some fiscal fiscal uh, consequences here so basically you have you, you you will lose your pass through status you have changes in taxation and you may be taxable for lcs so let's talk about that so your new c corporation's tax status is the first tax consequence worth knowing when you convert your llc to a c corporation it will lose its pass through taxation status and this will cause your newly formed c corporation to experience double taxation you also have changes in taxation. So the second tax consequence will result it from your LLC conversion to a C corporation. So as a C corporation, your company and your shareholders will experience taxation, right? That's double taxation. We already, we have already established that. Your new C corp will be taxed on its annual profits first. And so after the company pays its dividends to shareholders, shareholders pay a second tax. And also we have a situation where it may be taxable for LLCs. In other words, the conversion of an LLC into a C corporation may be a taxable event for some LLCs. And this can actually occur in LLCs that spend money, borrowed, and then deduct the money spent as expenses. As a result, LLC members may experience an income gain based on uh, LLC profits caused by the conversion. And so you, it's one of those things where they're so sort of peculiar. Those cases are very rare. And it also depends on your specific examples. It's just a lot better to speak to a tax attorney, an enrolled agent, or 
a certified public accountant, a CPA, who could may be uh, better off to sort of understand the, the particular, like the specifics of your of your business case and then advise you. Boss, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. We are having a conversation about transitioning from LLC to C Corporation. What are the tax implications? So I want to insist on the fact that you want to work with accounting professionals to ensure a smooth transition. I mean, we're speaking here about accounting professionals, but this could be a tax attorney, could be an EA, an enrolled agent. In other words, you want to work with somebody who understands the intricacies of uh, the fiscal and financial intricacies of uh, this uh, transition. So transitioning from an LLC to a C corporation can be complex, filled with many steps and potential tax issues. And each method of conversion, whether it's statutory conversion, statutory merger, or non-statutory conversion, comes with its own set of challenges and nuances. So this is kind of important to really have a clear idea who, who you're working with so that you can so they, they can uh, advise you in real time. And so when we talk about actually uh, C Corporation, maybe uh, you want to convert your LLC to S Corporation. You could probably try to do S Corporation also. But it's really important to understand that when we talk about S Corporation, at the end of the day, you have a, a different quote unquote animal here, okay? Because uh, there are advantages and there are disadvantages. Let's first talk about converting LLC to S Corporation. Taxation, retirement benefits, and shareholder status. And those are the pros. What about the cons of converting LLC to S Corporation? You have complexity and cost, differs by state, and you have less flexibility, more formality. The reason why I'm actually bringing this into the into this conversation about uh, C Corporation is that if C Corporation is not really uh, what you really want in the end, maybe it's just better to uh, transfer your LLC to an S Corporation instead of a C Corporation because the C Corporation is really kind of high up in terms of bureaucracy. And this form of uh, business is really a lot better for large businesses who want to attract uh, many, uh, like who want to attract many financiers, many uh many funding institutions and want to have the I want to have, want to have flexibility in terms of expanding. So if you are a small business, if you're listening to me right now, maybe it's just a lot better to go with the with the converting LC to S corporation as opposed to converting LC to C corporation. And but the bottom line here is that if you go with S corporation, one of the biggest uh, drawbacks is that you are limited to 100 fewer than 100 uh, shareholders. Now, when we talk about converting LLC to C Corporation, which is actually the topic of today's conversation, there are also pros and cons, and uh, it, re it really will help to really uh, elaborate a little bit on, on those uh, pros and cons. First of all, let's talk about the pros. If you, you can actually uh, use uh, this conversion if you are applying to an accelerator, let's say you're, you're applying to a startup accelerator, if you want to seek or you want to draw venture capital to your uh, to your company so you actually switch from LLC to C corporation you also want to think about employee equity because in a corporation reserving shares that your company can later distribute to employees is, is very easy in an LLC the partners own 100% of the company and if you want to give equity to a non-partner employee you must make that person a partner and also for C corporation you have a separate legal existence so in contrast to LLCs, a C Corp will continue existing regardless of how often the company changes hands. This could be due to the existing owners selling their shares or perhaps passing away. An LLC may not have specific provisions in its operating agreement for such an event or may not have an operating agreement at all. So you may have to dissolve your LLC in order to resolve the legal consequences of losing a member. So those are the pros of uh, converting LLC to C Corporation. What about the cons here? Because there are also some disadvantages. You have double taxation. So from in LLC, you have a pass-through taxation. So when you switch to a C corporation, you have double taxation. You also have increased complexity and, and administration. I said this earlier in terms of uh, an extra the extra layer of bureaucracy that really gets added to, to, to your processes. And then you also have extra payments, extra tax payments as part of the transfer. Okay, and uh, so 
one thing you want to really pay attention to here is that you want to really again go back to why you're doing the conversion in the first place what's really causing this this sort of conversion because uh again if you think about the increase the increased complexity and the administration the the big question is is it really worth it because the process for converting from llc to c corporation can be complicated it all depends on the state in which you form your llc some states such as california allow for fast track conversions that let you convert llc to c corp in another state such as delaware in other states the process can be much more arduous One thing I want to tell you here is that there are some big changes that come with the C Corp status. Okay, so you have the ability to IPO, you have the ability to create and sell or grant shares, you have limit, limitless shareholder opportunities, you have business structure, and you have you have access to incubators and accelerators. This is what I said earlier. So it's really important to understand that uh, for for you to to have uh, the right profile for those uh, investors, you need to be in a, situ in, in a situation where you're constantly sort of uh, adjusting yourself. And uh, it's also important to understand that you also need to think about your final tax return for your ALC. Once you complete your conversion to a, to a C corporation, you might need to file one last tax return for your ALC. Failing to do so can land each of your former ALC members with a steep penalty for every month that the return is late. Okay. And so, uh, long story short, talk to your accountant before you make the switch to a C corporation. The paperwork required will depend uh, on the type of conversion you use and how much you are moving to the C corp in assets and liabilities. If you transfer more in liabilities than in assets, the IRS sees this as a profit for the LC members since they have essentially un they are essentially unloading those liabilities into the corporation. So be ready to pay taxes on that amount as well. So clearly, it can get complicated, but your accountant will know what filings are required. Your, your accountant or tax lawyer, by that, for that matter, will know what filings are required to keep, your, to keep you penalty free. OK, this is really important. And we may also recommend converting towards the end of the year to avoid the need to file two separate tax returns. And uh, it's one of those things where you have to really also pay attention to uh, the fact that when you actually become a C corporation, you are no longer a pass through, okay? And and which means what? It means that you have to actually now file a form 1120, which is not an informational form. It is a form on which you pay taxes, which is sort of uh, different from a form 1120S, which is uh, an informational return. You do not pay taxes at the, at the uh, federal level. And this is kind of similar to form 1065, which again is an informational return on which you basically are informing the IRS but not paying taxes on your being your first your fair share of share of taxes at the federal thank you so much for your attention i really appreciate it today's conversation i just spoke to you about from llc to c corporation what are the tax consequences so i give you the approach the pro tips and then uh, i closed now with uh, the recap thank you so much god bless you i'll see you next time until then remember stay marvelous